So ladies and gentlemen, I'm introducing people on the panel uh, very first and then we gonna uh, hear from the artist in this concert, just one, two words and then I'll take three, four questions and then we close it up. Is that okay? We gotta do it then. On my extreme, extreme right is uh, Brian from Infinix. Infinix is our partner for the Kigali Desert. One more applause to Brian over there. Next to him is Patricia from Heineken Blaiwa. Of course, he's the brand's new manager for Old Sinclair Sphere. That's a force we And of course, what else? The man himself, the melody, the king of melodies and rhythms. Yeah, woo, woo, woo. Put your hands together for our very own Chris Melody. I'll, I'll skip the stranger, and I'll go next to the move unless we are moving in a classic way. And this is what I mean. Without that swamp and raining Rwanda, we can never move enough. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the CEO herself in our presence today. And then my extra left, of course, is the man of all colors of all times. He's a legend you will find and you'll never find anywhere apart from Blaniro. Put your hands together for the sports and events manager, Patrick. And of course, the man we've been waiting for all these years, all the way from the US of A, Nigerian born. Put your hands together for 85 to Africa, Mr. G. Taylor. And of course, my name is Remy from the RG Concert. I sweep this place and make sure that my ears is clean. Yeah, thank you very much. All right, um, let's hear from uh, our, our sponsors. I'll start with the Phoenix, uh, just make it snappy, pop, 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 and then we run to the artist right away. Thank you very much from the Phoenix. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Shane uh, Brian. As usual, we present you the Phoenix Mobility, the fastest growing smartphone uh, in, in Africa and also catching the globe real soon. So I'm very happy to, to be here. Uh, once again, uh, Remy, thank you very much for bringing uh, uh, the star himself. Uh, it's origin, it's origin. Uh, origin, it's origin, <laughs> origin. The star himself, Mr. Jidena, thank you very much for honoring our invitation. And uh, lastly, but not the least, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce one of uh, the newest on our uh, Infinix community, uh, Mr. himself, Bruce Melody. He is now one of our uh, uh, in the community of Infinix. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Uh, we are excited, as usual, to be part of the Kigali Jazz Junction. And as you can see, we are actually using our new innovation our Mutsi class beer, which is predominantly all about class. And there's no better event than with the classic man himself. So we're really excited about this, and uh, we really hope uh, people will get to really taste what this Mutsi class is all about. Obviously, it's a very refreshing, a bit lighter than our usual Mutsi. So we really want the young people, to, especially, to really enjoy it and uh, enjoy a beer that you can take without getting scared that you'll be drunk the next day or you might be able to function the next day. Thank you. I'll skip the eyes first. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Rex, the general manager of Kigali Marriott Hotel, the entertainment hub in Kigali. We always want to make sure that there's something going on. Thank you very much. Um, enjoy responsibly. It's a class or whatever you're having and stay after the concert at Kigali Marriott Hotel. Volkswagen in Rwanda. Uh, we hope that you enjoyed your ride yesterday. 
been assembling Deco in the country for a year and a half now. Uh, I hope all of you have the app. Uh, tonight you can use um, our rights with a, a discount count, uh, KGG. So please use. Uh, we'll be advertising, we're on social media. We want people to come to the concert with the Volkswagen, go home with the Volkswagen, or go to your next location, enjoy responsibly, don't drink and drive. Uh, and to be cool, we're together. Merci. Merci. Thank you. The classic one is there. Let's move. The menu is there. Don't miss the venue. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's hear from uh, Bruce Melody and uh, Tsuban Rudige. What is the year for and uh, what we expect from him, Bruce? Yes, uh, thank you very much. Nani ni shini kumanda hanga ha. Iku baza ko hara la wari kutu kuli kila wari kutu yewa. Na mwizi tuwele ke ili mwizi tuwele mkwari mwansi. Nani ni mwuno mwuza kuwa kufuke mwo ata nje i first in season nani. Hanuma, I even feel more on it to be performing. Alongside the one of the best artists, Jidena. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much. And then, while we've been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen, Jidena himself, a round of applause as we walk up and say something. You may say the day. It's a pleasure and an honor to be here sitting alongside um, the people that made this happen. So thank each and every one of you for making this trip already in less than 24 hours. One of the most hospitable trips I've been on in my life. So thank you. Thank you all for waiting for me. Um, I know you guys are getting prepared. And, uh, I had to do my own preparations because to be in front of you all today truly has been a dream for me. I've been looking at Rwanda for years and the progress that you all have made individually and collectively is actually astounding. It's inspiration to me, it's inspiration to Africa, it's inspiration to the African diaspora. So I thank all the work, because I know it's not just one man or woman. It's each of you believing and having faith and having vision for a country. And you've done so. And I can see it just in a short time. So I'm very excited to learn in my short stay here. The next time will be much longer. So if you open your hotel doors again, I'll be here. But in the short stay, I want to learn as much as I can about a few things. Economically, what has happened in Kigali and in Rwanda at large. The role of women that women play in parliament, being 65% of parliament, and women having as close to equal pay as a country like Iceland. Not even the U.S. is even close to that. So, the progress you made is so, so long is very honorable. So thank you for welcoming me. I'm here on behalf of an album that we call 85 to Africa. The 85 is the name of a highway that starts in Atlanta, Georgia. You can take that highway to the airport. And once you're at the airport in Atlanta, there's direct flights to different cities in Africa. So, in many ways, this is a soundtrack for people and Africans and descendants of Africa, whether African American, Caribbean American, that live abroad to come home to the continent. Because all the progress is being made here, 
and in other countries can be made even faster, even more by utilizing the people abroad like myself, the people in the US, in the UK, in Russia, wherever we are, people from Rwanda, people from Nigeria, South Africa, Egypt, anywhere that understands that if we connect that highway, we'll be much stronger. I always tell a story about the foundation of two countries. In the 1950s, there was a man named Kwame Nkrumah and another man named Nandi Azikiwe. These two gentlemen came from two countries in West Africa that were colonized at the time. They went to school in the U.S. Both attended one specific university called Lincoln University that was founded by African Americans. At this university, they learned of the philosophies of a man named Marcus Garvey, who came from Jamaica. Now, once they were inspired by these philosophies. They went home and liberated their people and founded the countries of Ghana and Nigeria. And that's what happens when we all move as one people and when we learn from each other here and abroad. This is the duty of our generation is to figure out how we can make sure, economically speaking, that we're moving and trading across country borders. We're moving and trading from cities to rural areas. That we're moving and trading between the poor and the rich so our middle class continues to blossom. And so long as we do that, the next hundred years in African history will be ours again. And the last 400 years will be no longer. We'll move out of the dark ages into a golden age that we once had across this continent. So that is the mission, not only of this album, but of my life, of the women and gentlemen that you see next to me when I roll around in this city and when I roll around in the world. And I want to believe it is also the mission of the colleagues that I have sitting here on the table. So that is what 85 Back to Africa means to me. And the rest is just music and jamming and dancing and singing. Because if I didn't have the music, nobody would listen to me. So thank you. So. Thank you for coming, ladies and gentlemen. See you at 6 30 p.m. One more thing. It's a pleasure to be with Bruce. Thank you so much. It's an honor to share the stage. Please make it brief and, brief and precise, all right? Thanks. Uh, thank you. Uh, my name is Baby Hawk for Contact TV. My name is Mr. Jidena. I have two questions for you. The first one, how, how has it been uh, from being a Nigerian born to like, uh, you being an African American to doing music in the US? Like, have you faced any challenges being like, uh, originally from Nigeria, like, not the other people who are born from the US but from the uh, black descent? The second one goes to, uh, stick to you. Uh, how has it been uh, from the, uh, the, the first song you released, The Classic Man? Uh, it was on the EP for your label. And uh, how has it been since like, releasing the first song and became a hit? Plus, how did you uh, how did you learn the collab with Kendrick Lamar on the remix? Thank you. First of all, I think that people at first didn't look at me as Nigerian or African. You know, I don't think people realize that Africans come in all shades, all colors, all forms, and. Uh, so that's the first thing. So I didn't have any problems in the U.S. as an artist. I was the one that told everybody that I was African and I was Nigerian. I made that known, you know, because I think it's important. There's other artists that hide it. And me, I'm not hiding anything 
from anybody. And it, it gives me power, and I think it would give us power by making sure we're proud of it. And thank God that's the, the era and phase we are in now. Um, your second question, from classic man to now. I mean, it's lovely to have a hit, you know, but sometimes a song can be bigger than the artist, and I don't want that anymore. I'd rather be bigger than my songs, because in the same way that Muhammad Ali was bigger than his boxing, and that I think that our uh, athletes of today are even bigger than their playing. Serena Williams, to me, is bigger than tennis, right? So that is my job and my mission now, and I, I believe that I'm accomplishing that day in and day out, which is different than when I first came out. Everybody just saw a song and some guy in a suit who has weird hair. So, and Kendrick Lamar, he, he called me because he heard another song called Long Live the Chief. And he said, yeah, I like that. That Long Live the Chief joint. Yeah, that's cool, man. I want, I want to do this record with you. And then it happened. So thank God. I praise God for that. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, the first question is, uh, how did you meet with uh, a man and a girl called Lily and using a song called Sophie Woman? And then the next, uh, what can you say about the manifold manufactured in Uganda? So first question about Sophie Woman, like how did it come up? How, how did it create it? How did you do it with that you the one and the the media? I'm glad it was a random lady. I don't know the random lady. She's random. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but I'm glad she's dancing. So right now, it's obviously about the music, but the next time I come, which I hope is soon, if you all welcome me again, it'll be, I want to really understand and go across the country, not just in Kigali, but across the country to understand the different developments that are happening here. From the automotive industry, technology, um, and as I said earlier, the role that women play here is something that I, I believe that the world can learn from. So my next day, I will have to stay a week and actually go to different facilities and go to different industries to understand that. Um, there's, there's other people doing that now. Uh, like the CEO of Twitter just released a business insider. He said that he's going to stay in different countries in Africa for three to six months next year. I did the same thing two years ago. Actually, to make this album, I 